Hello my succulent friends, it's me, Suze, and I'm back and it's Saturday. Now, because it is Saturday, uh, my neighbour behind me, that direction, she sounds like she's got visitors. Hang on, let me open this. This is probably going to be noisy in the, in the mic. Hang on. What is this, you're asking? It's my lazy Susan. God, I just scratched it with my knife. You'd think they'd put some um, padding on top. Doesn't matter, it's for the garden anyway. Yes, so my neighbors got visitors, which is very nice, but they might, um, some kids yelling, playing. So we might hear that in the background, but I'm happy for her because she's a widower and um, it's just her and her dog. What's her dog's name again? Oh, forgot. Um, a beagle, very noisy, barky beagle. I'm surprised she hasn't barked recently actually. Well that's pretty basic isn't it? That will work. Yeah I got to know her quite well when um, my neighbour, when we uh, replaced our back fence because um, when we did that we had to cut down a lot of big trees and um, I don't know, because it was a new fence, my dog seemed to have found his way um, to dig in a hole underneath it and he would go in her yard and um, <laughs> that wasn't good. So we had to like dig a trench under the fence and put some, um, oh, some metal down there to make it harder for him to get across and um, that seemed to have worked but it was a real pain in the ass. I'll tell you that now. Okay, um, yesterday we were doing the uh, little leaf babies, propagation babies. So um, these little things that I suspect are heads, I put in a tray. I've done the cinnamon trick. I've sprinkled cinnamon, oops, missed one, in the tray. So that is good. And Janet, yes, Janet, she made a good point about um, paper towels with our experiment that um, I was going to hate it and I think she makes a very good point because apparently the roots grow into the paper towel and then later when you try and get them out you've got to rip them out and it sounds like a hot mess to me so I'm not sure if I'm going to pursue that one and she did mention something about water propagation I've done that I don't mind it it's got good results it's just not for me I, I'll talk about that another time but I want to put my Kante um, pot back together so I've replaced the top portion of soil with some fresh soil again I use regular soil mix and some propagation sand that works for me works for my climate but um, I'm sure there are better ways to mix do a soil blend. Anyway, I'm going to put my systemic in my new favorite friend, cinnamon. I'll throw some of that in. I run out. I ran out of um, my slow release fertilizer, the one specifically for succulents and cactuses. But I have this one. It's been sitting around for a while. I hope it don't expire. Um, so I'm going to throw through a few of those in as well, I'm sure. Oh, that looks good enough. Good enough for me. All right. Um, let's pop that there. Yes. Where's my tweezers gone? Oh, look at this. It works. No crunchy noises on the table. How good is that? Um, I try to prepare myself because I'm stuck here with my headphone mic. I can't go very far. Actually, speaking of which, let me just hook that over the frame. Um, so I try to get all my tools and stuff. Oh God, did I get in frame then? I haven't done my makeup or anything. That's why I don't go on, um, that's why I don't put my face <laughs> in the videos. I'm such a homebody. Um, yeah. Uh, and then Evelyn was talking about neem cake powder. Have I ever tried it? Never even heard of it. So did a little bit of research after she mentioned. I think she's researching it too. 
Yes, I'm putting top dressing down first because essentially my kante now is just a cutting. Um, anyway, so she did a little research, I did a little research. See, I, I didn't even know that neem oil comes from a tree or a plant and the cake is part of the extract from it. And um, it sounds like it's a conditioning agent. It's got all these good trace elements in it. But I think it's also an insect deterrent. So that is interesting. That's all I know. Um, but something worth looking into, definitely. Interestingly enough, we are, Evelyn and I connected on Facebook and Instagram. It's a great place for me to see what you guys do because I can't, you guys can't post pictures on the comments. And, um, you know, I do like it when it's more of a two-way thing than a one-way thing. Like, I want to see what you guys get up to, too. I really don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just winging it. Um, really, it might just be just laying this down on this. But I was, wanted to see if I could get some of those fillers that were in there uh, in the pot as well and have them dangling down as trailers. So let's just slide this over a bit. Have a look again at what we've got. Don't care about that. Is these crassulas? I'm going to find a long one. I'm wondering if I could get them. Before they were sort of, they'd grown and tucked in there. But I'm wondering if I can sort of plant them to trail. Looks like that could work. So what do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? I know the overhead angle is not always best for you guys to see this. I think what we might do is we know that that will fit right there. I'm going to lose some lower leaves. I'm sort of going to go backwards before I go forwards, you know, because it was quite a big size. Um, and clearly these leaves will go. I'll probably leave, lose quite a few of them before we even get roots. But such is the nature of succulents. Um, but I had to do it because clearly there was some signs of rot. That's what I'm telling myself. I'm pretty sure there was. What about if I arrange these first? So notice I've got this flush with the rim. You know, when you don't go all the way up, you can't get things to go over the edge very well. Today is a nice pleasant day. It's not as windy as yesterday. That was, that was bad. So I don't have to weight everything down again, do I? Okay. Try to make it so you all can see what I'm selecting. How about we do this for now? Wow, what is this? Come on. Sorry, that was out of camera. Is this Oh, so frustrating. It's the season, isn't it? This looks more like spider web. Sorry, I'm concentrating immensely. Yeah. Okay, okay. Could be. Could be mealies. I don't think so. I think that was a spider web. Just trying to spot if there's anything else, any other signs in the roots. No. I'm going to live on the wild side. Just put it in. I'm not fond of spraying. I'm really not. I just don't trust them. I just don't trust them to not damage foliage. I'm sure some of them work. I've put my systemic in the pot and that gives me a, whoops, 
that gives me enough peace of mind, I guess. I don't know. I'm really sort of uninterested in mealies without trying to solve them. It's just something. Yeah, look, look, wait. There it is again. Oh, sorry, I tapped the frame. Quiet I am. Yes, I just wiped that onto my clothes. <laughs> well, you know, we, do, we use our gardening clothes, don't we, when we're gardening. I don't know. I don't know what that was and I don't care. All right. So I love this stuff. It really... Um, it really gets a really striking color when it's stressed. Uh, last winter, any cuttings I took, as soon as I took cuttings, they stressed out and went really red, like these were really vibrant. I um, inserted a photo last time I did a video on the Kante. I'm going to talk about the Kante in a second too. Let's see if that's going to work. Or is that just going to be too messy again? Hmm. I don't know. You guys can't see it. I can't tilt it. Let me just step back and just um, assess for a second. I'm shaking my head. It's a no. It's not happening. I don't like it. I think we'll just... No, it's not even... No. Nope, 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 nope. So, put those back in the tray and they will go somewhere else. Maybe I'll sell them. Maybe I'll pot them up for some stock stuff because they're um, definitely something I'm sure some people would love to have. All right, well, that was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? We'll just um, give it a little bit of a, a sp you know, I just sort of make a little space for it and it's just going to sit there for a little while. Oh, right, Kante. Um, yeah, I'll try to insert something in the video, but yes, it does seem like there's two forms in them. Clearly, I've got one of them. Um, trying to go off memory. I think it said it's the uh, original form or it's something, the US form, which doesn't make sense to me because you'd think the US one would be more true to what I'm used to seeing. Other people's cantos look like they, the leaves look more longer and um, I don't know they just seem a little bit more delicate than this one what's that other one called sub 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 something I'll insert the name I can't remember it but you know it's it's a part of the same species and um, people were saying to me that this is probably one of those I got a feeling it's a hybrid of both but anyway Regardless, it's still lovely and I'm still calling it a Kante. I don't care if it doesn't look like all the other Kantes. <laughs> um, let's, okay, wait, keep the, keep the tray. Let's just put that aside. Probably put that back with the rest of them later. So it doesn't, um, I don't know, it needs to get roots, but I'm going to keep it in out in the full sun but under the shade cloth okay this one I have another pot here let me try and reach for it hold on a sec this one is really quite nice oh here we go oh it's heavy right so this pretty girl is a Echeveria alpine rose and what I love about it it has these beautiful pointed for upward pointing tips um, and it gets lovely oh, soft pink stressed leaves 
trying to give you a better angle from that side view. So this pot just had that in there originally and then I added this crassula which we'll just call it for David for now and that was this one that I accidentally bought um, you remember my video from the the order I bought from succulents Australia and there was one plant I already had this was it but um, but I wanted to show you how lovely it is so and then I just threw in some cutting sometimes you, you, you pick up a cutting here or there and, and you're really just looking for some some uh, some um, soil somewhere anywhere you know like it's like um, to me it's like property value it's like property where your soil is free soil is um, valuable look property space do you know what I mean I'm not making sense so basically if you see a spare spot you just chuck um, your cuttings in there and so this is what's happened here are these a set of area blue elves somebody tell me I don't know I don't even know where I picked them up I think it was from the market um, and I have a, just a handful of them here and there but they're really cute and these are a set of area rollies that don't look too happy so what am I doing well I think it might be time to separate these uh, these alpine roses because that I believe is one plant with offsets and I think that's another one I think I can make this look a bit better I'm not going to disturb that that that's that's good that's staying so I thought let's get out these little cuttings first again they might go in oh maybe I could add some of this into there that's clever isn't it yeah okay this has got a nice little couple of offsets with it oh it's in there good I should get a tray Yeah, that's really cute. Here, yeah, you can have the better look. Please tell me what it is. I'm sure it's a set of area. A what set of area? If you know, that would be very helpful. So yeah, if you guys use Instagram or Facebook, I really love to connect with you guys there. I really um, am enjoying building some new relationships and friendships with you, you guys. Oh, speaking of guys, I shouldn't say guys because um, you know I'm really speaking to women but um, I am rambling a bit aren't I um, I had a look at the statistics on YouTube about about 20% of viewership is coming from fellas so where are you guys love to hear from you drop me a comment oh this is in good wow let's get this stone out this is an agate and it's called cherry cherry blossom moss or something I bought a whole bunch of them uh, from China there's a Facebook group that has crystals and they do live videos and they go around their warehouse and they show you um, crystals and they they sell it by weight so you you know you say I'll have half a kilo of this or whatever or they hand select stuff for you so I took about half a kilo of those and um it's in us dollars they only use wow oh god what am i doing why am i always doing this to my pots um i need another tray hold on i'm gonna pause okay i got a tray yeah so anyway you can buy bulk crystals from them and um i had to un unfollow them because it was just dangerous for me they go live all the time and um, next thing I know, I'm just watching. That's my intention. I just think I'll just watch. Next thing I know, I'm commenting on them. And like good salespeople, once you start interacting with them, they, you know, they're good. They get you. They got me. Right, hold on a minute. Let's just evaluate. I, I don't multitask talking, 
working and um, filming all conjointly well. So sometimes I go quiet. Um, but I did get a lot of requests for people wanting to see what I get up to specifically. So this is why I'm doing that. That's well rooted in there. Um, should freshen this up a bit. Let's just move that aside. And let's have a look at this. I thought this was a couple of pieces. Now, I'm not too sure. Okay, it's going to get noisy. Hold on. I'm just trying to shake out that soil so it's easier to handle and see what's going on. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a tangle here, a bit of a root ball. Oops, clanky again, Susan. Stop doing that. It's a nice solid root stem there. Yeah. Well, don't see any nasty little mealy eggs or anything. So that's good. Happy about that. Let's get rid of this rubbish. So you can probably see it a little bit better now. It's such a delicate beauty. It really is. So again, I'm going quiet because I'm evaluating and I'm having a good look. Well, it's, I was wrong. It's all one plant, but that head there has one big stem. I've got a nice new growth there. And that seems to be another one, that one. So that would be this, this and this. I think that would make sense to separate them. So, you know, I want to multiply them so eventually I can um, sell some as well. So this, this stem doesn't look too healthy actually. So it might be a good time. I wonder if I could lighten up the colour. Hang on, brighten it up. Does it? Oh, it just rushes out the colour a bit, doesn't it? Hold on, I think I've stuffed it up. I'm going to stop recording for a sec. I'll let it back together. Yeah, yeah. I'm not that technical. Maybe I need to get a light out here. I'm just going to break it off. Oh, that's not, not as easy to break off as I was hoping. Let's just do a little snip. some roots I might trim it to about there just freshen it up just get rid of some of these old leaves while I'm at it because you know I get a bit of a kick out of that it's quite cute isn't it isn't it pretty oh the kids are having fun next door must be her grandkids I'm happy for her she's a nice lady very nice Maggie, that's it, that's her dog's name, Maggie. She's been awfully quiet, Maggie. She used to get in my videos all the time barking. I had to uh, film around it. Hope she's okay. She's quite aggressive for a little beagle. I think she's all bark, no bite. I've seen her, she's very pretty. Okay, okay, okay. I haven't got a lot to talk about. Oh, I could talk about my visit to mum yesterday. That was nice. You know, I don't know if you guys are aware, you Australians would be. Here in Victoria, we had a, a circuit breaker lockdown, as they like to call it. 
Uh, so we got locked down for five days, stage four restrictions. So basically you can't go anywhere and do nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, I won't go into the details of that too much, but um, you know, I hadn't seen my mum for a while and she was supposed to come around that weekend when the lockdown happened. So that was a bit of a bummer. But fortunately, I guess the circuit breaker worked um, and they put things back to normal, sort of, what the new normal, as they like to call it, right? God, what is happening in the world? I'm not even going to talk about it. You guys don't want to know my views. Might be They might be a bit controversial. Uh, <laughs> um, this is a nice piece, isn't it? Yeah, so so we, we got to see each other and, you know, as my mum's gotten older, she's really, uh, she really enjoys her cooking. I should say she's retired now and she has some yum-o dishes. Yum-o, another Aussie way to say, well, it's an Aussie term, yum-o. We put O's, E's and A's, I think. On. I'm looking for a tool. Pucker. Um, I've spotted something, that's why. Mm -mm -mm. If I go this way, can you see it? It's right, right there. Not good. It's a muley. It's a bloody muley. I was, I was looking for my brush to brush it out. Hang on, let me pause for a sec. Okay, got my brush. I'm trying to get it out. I know cotton tips and all that are good, but I can't get them in the little nooks and crannies very well. Oh, it's really nothing. It's so small. Okay. Um, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, I mum's cooking I ca came home with all my favorite yum yums I was talking about the word yummo yummo yeah definitely was yummo just want to have a good sort of look inside the heads and see if we can spot any mealies no definitely not an infestation Okay, now let's have a look at this main piece now. Yeah, looks okay. Okay, let's clean it up. Yeah, so if there's any fellas out there that watch my videos, I'd love to hear from you. I think there was one fella named Thomas who said something once, but um, it would just be nice. Just be nice to know who you are, what you're doing. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not very chatty today. I think it's because it's Saturday. Um, so I'm wondering. What are you guys doing for your weekend? How much gardening are you doing? I imagine uh, some of you are restricted with COVID restrictions, maybe in the US, I don't know. Maybe you're spending more time at home. I can also hear at the local park um, is a cricket game going on, which is great. That means, you know, things are still happening. People are still doing their things to a degree, aren't they? I don't like cricket, by the way. For, for, for American people watching, cricket is a little bit like baseball, I guess. Probably just, um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just call it, it's like baseball. but. As far as sports go, I don't mind Aussie rules, AFL. Husband's hardcore into it. 
my team won um, a few grand finals, premierships recently. So yes, for Aussie people who follow AFL, I am a Richmond supporter. Have been since I was a child. Isn't this pretty? So nice. I don't see any other mealies. I don't think it's that bad. So there we are. Um, so I might just put it back, put them back in the pot, and just give them a bit more space. I've got to freshen up this soil first. Um, that's gonna. That's just. Let me go sort that out, and then I'll come back. Okay. Okay, so I dug up all of that portion, um, avoiding this, which is weird, never really done that before. And so it's just a lot of old roots and stuff and, you know, mealy nests probably, if there is any, would be in this top section. So it's good to freshen up the soil, I think. I didn't do it on, on uh, camera because it's boring and it would have been very noisy in, in the audio. So let's just throw that out. And put some soil under here. I'm not used to gardening while I'm filming. This is still something I'm getting used to. So bear with me. I wouldn't normally do it this way. I'm trying to capture it for you guys. Okay. Let's work with that for now. Let's put in our little ingredients. Systemic. That's quite a bit. I really don't know the right amount. Again, I, I wing it. I, I'm a wing it kind of girl. A lot like the way I cook. And let's put some slow release in there too. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's mix that up a bit. Alpine Rose. $9.99 I paid for it. It's quite a delicate one actually, like it's not a super fast growing one. It's, uh, but I love it, I love it very much. So what are we doing? Let's see if we put that in the middle. It's probably not going to look much different than it was. I just wanted to give them a bit more space. And how about that there? I'll just put a few more on that side. Yeah, we'll just keep it simple. Keep it simple. My pigeon friend is back. There's a real, like, not a dove, like an actual pigeon, like a homing pigeon. He's, um, he's very fat. He looks very well loved, but I've since somehow adopted him. He likes hanging out here with me, and I feed him wheat bix. Wheat bix is a cereal, if you don't know it, and he seems to like it. So I think he's cooing for my attention. Can you feed me, please. I got a feeling he's been someone's pet, or he still is someone's pet, but I don't think like wild birds. I don't think he knows how to forage for food. Anyway, so I'll go sort him out in a minute. God, it's so nice that it's not windy like yesterday. That was bad. It was very bad. All my stuff was blowing around. I had to weight it all down. So I've got two more pieces, that one and this one. Where do you think? Here, here. Doesn't really matter, does it? 
yeah, I think I'll put it on the side and then maybe we could put these set of areas up the front. Oh, I've got a song stuck in my head. Um, I'm that close to singing it out loud, uh, but nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> I think before we go on, I might put a bit of top dressing in there. Sort of, um, I, I, maybe I should have done that first. Okay, I've got some top dressing. I have it in a bag to the side of me. This is going to be noisy. Yes, there we go. Let's use the Susan, the lazy Susan, roll it round. Oh, what an improvement. I don't know why I didn't get one a long time ago. I don't even know why I don't have one. You know, when I saw my mum yesterday and I told her I got one, typical mum, she's like, What did you buy one for, baby? I have a couple of them. You should have asked me. I'm like, Oh, yeah. I should have, hey. <laughs> oh well. Very well indeed. Noise alert. Crunchy noise. I don't think I've really done much difference, have I? It doesn't feel like it. It feels like I just put it back the way it was. Ah, oh, the joys. Well, well, I have given it some more, some fresh soil. That's good. A little, a little fertilizer and and so forth. Has anyone else got one of these alpine roses? Are you familiar with them? Oh, I really love it. Can't wait to multiply them a bit more. So when I see little little offsets like that, I like to put them on the out outer side of the rim so they grow outwards. Let's get some dust off. Set of areas are so um, easy to grow, aren't they? Do you guys have set of areas? I'm assuming these are set of areas. Sedum, set of areas, they're so prolific, aren't they? Once you get one going, you, you're good. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. Then, um, I don't think I'll put these back in. Well, maybe actually, maybe just this one. Maybe we'll pop that there. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? It's real estate, prime real estate. That's what I was trying to say before. My brain's not working too good today. It's a little bit um, in neutral, if you know what I mean. Okay. And where can we work this in? So we've got a trailer on that side. Which I'm thinking this would be the front view. And these are here. You can't see the set of areas. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway, how about we put a little bit here. See how that works in there. So this is why I don't do this, um, nor oh, there's a bit of string in there as well. Oh, I might actually, I like doing this with strings now. Rather than hanging them over, I like to weave them through 
and create them more like a ground cover. You know, change it up a bit, right? Yeah, there we go. That'll look cool when that grows. Yeah, so I don't normally film this because I don't see how this is that entertaining. But we'll see how we go, see what you guys think. Yep, that could work. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just put a lot of this in here and then we'll just use it as a place to get cuttings from. Just work it around the whole whole lot. Hmm. Mm, what do you think? Speaking of cuttings, I could probably cut a bit of this off too. I love how dense that is. It feels awesome. It's like patting your little kitty. Oh, this Lazy Susan is just ideal. Perfect. That's too much, isn't it? Just put a little bit on this side to grow over. Balance it, balance it out a bit, have a bit on both sides. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the stone. It's a little bit big to put back in. Is it? Maybe not. No, yep, I'm going to keep it. It actually kind of holds that up a bit higher. Hmm. Love that. Oh, now yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, let's get another, a little bit more top dressing in there. Okay, noise alert, warning, warning. Yes, yes, like this, I'm liking this. It's just a little improvement, you know, it's not a big rework, it's just spacing it out. Noise alert. Liking this, liking this a lot. Just brush out some of those rocks that got inside the uh, between the foliage, and I think I might rework this little amethyst um, sort of geode or something. It was with my uh, Anium sunburst crest, the one we I'm not supposed to speak. Well, I. I told myself I wouldn't speak about anymore. I am a bit bummed out about that. Just a tad. Not a lot, just a tad. But I think the best thing about that is I'll end up propagating um, it and I'll have several pieces. So, you know, you've got to always look at the silver lining, right? I feel like it needs another stone right there. What have I got? I'm just eyeballing the stones from over here. Hold on, I'm going to go look for something. Right, while I'm back, I found these. I um, don't know if this is overkill. I'm feeling like the quartz might be good. Oh, I think I must have just bit my leg. I'm wearing a skirt today. some insect repellent on. Yeah, that will do. That will do. And I still have quite a bit of this left, so that's cool. For another project or, you know, like I said, I might sell it. Um, and there we go. 
I'll take the phone down in a sec and I'll have I'll show you from this angle. But before I do that, I want to show you something I bought. Bought it a while ago. I actually um Kath, Kath sucks. She has a really amazing Instagram page. She has some really killer um, plants. She lives in Bendigo, which is in the same state as me. Um, Evelyn and I were just speaking about her recently. Um, she has some really great vari variegated stuff. I don't know if she can afford it, to be honest. Um, some of that stuff is really pricey. Um, but anyway, she bought one of these from JB Hi-Fi. So I got one. So it's a little electrical blower. It was really cheap. It was seven bucks. It's tiny, really small, but it's not rechargeable. So what I have to do is put it in a battery pack. Um, let me just turn the battery on. And there you go. That, that's so I've got to walk around with this in my pocket, which is not too bad. And then I use this to spray out water now. I've upgraded, I've upgraded my um, tool for that instead of my little hand blower. This thing, hold on, can I reach it? So instead of this thing, which is fine, that works just as well. There's a lot of pumping and... Um, versus versus that. So these are little keyboard blower outer things if you want to get one. If you're from Australia, JB Hi-Fi, I bought online. Don't know if they still have them in stock. Don't know, that was around Christmas. Um, and you remember yesterday we're doing that. I just want to state I'm not going to water this for a while. There's really no need. I'm just going to put it aside. We really don't need to water until it gets roots. And that it will at least be a week or two. Okay. Um, let me take down the camera off the stand and I'll show you a better view. So there we are. I think it's a big improvement. I think the crystals are a nice touch. So, uh, Colourful Crystal World, I think it is from memory, though you guys should know I'm not good at, at the details remembering these things, but that's where you can buy crystals wholesale in bulk from China. Um, and they do ship to the US. They actually sell in US dollars. So if you're an American, you might be curious. So you can buy a bulk of this. So I think half a kilo of these cost me, I think it's about $20. You have to pay for freight as well. So that adds up. But um, that's where I buy a lot of my bulk crystals. All right, that's a bit of a long video. So we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching, my friends. And um, I look forward to having a chat with you guys on the, on the comments. Take care. Bye. I wanted to sincerely thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to my channel. Also, you can find me as Essence for Succulents on my Instagram and Facebook page, where I post daily photos with tips and information. So come and hang out with me there. It's a great place to chat and connect. Thank you.